To install WordPress using Mojo Marketplace, log into your hosting account and click on the icon for one-click installs. You should immediately see the WordPress icon in the list of blog installers. Click on this link. On the next page, ignore all the paid options and be happy about the money you're saving. Click the big green button that says Install. The next thing you need to do is tell Mojo where you want WordPress installed. Now some of you are setting up at a temporary site at which to work while the domain name you want to use eventually is pointed elsewhere. Certain hosts, like Bluehost, provide an option to install WordPress and view your site at that temporary URL. Now a temp URL behaves just like a primary domain name would, except that it looks different, like a secret backdoor to your site. It contains your server IP address, and it looks like this. If a temporary URL is what you're after, then choose that from the domain's dropdown. If you already have a domain name connected to your account, you probably don't want to use the temp URL, since it points to the same location on your server as your main domain name. Instead, you may want to install WordPress in a temporary subdirectory, like temp, and later move the site to replace your main site or export your Profolder design from the temp site. For more information about working on a Profolder design before it's live, see our guide. If you have one or more domain names already connected to your hosting account, they will also show up in the domain's dropdown. Choose the domain name you want to use and whether you want your WordPress URL to be with www or without it. The box on the right is for entering a subfolder also known as a subdirectory. If your whole domain is dedicated to your Profoto site, you will leave the subdirectory box blank. If you have another website already on your domain and you're going to put Profoto in a subdirectory, then type the name of that folder here. Probably 80% of the people who do this put it in a subfolder called blog, but it can be called anything you want. Even if installing at a temp URL, if your plan is to have your Profoto site at a subdirectory of your eventual URL, then make sure to include this here. After choosing your domain name, click Check Domain. Now what this does is verify that the domain name is set up correctly and that it will be possible to install WordPress at that location. If you already have a site there, it won't prevent you from also installing WordPress but it's best to move or delete a pre-existing site's files before installing WordPress. So, take a second to preview your desired installation address. If, when you go to the domain name you're wanting to use, you see a blank host screen like this, or a screen with a not found message, you know you won't be installing over the top of an existing site, and that it's safe to proceed. If you see an actual site come up at the URL you're trying to use, then you can either throw caution to the wind and proceed with the install. Now this will probably be okay, but some of the existing files might interfere with WordPress. Or you can use a different subdirectory for this WordPress installation. Finally, you could move or delete your current site files and then do the install. Rest assured that a WordPress installation won't really overwrite anything on your server. But if you do have a WordPress site there already, it will disable the old site by renaming the files and folders, and it will install the new ones alongside them. In the next screen, check that you've read the terms and conditions and click Install Now. This will begin the installation process, automatically filling in a username, password, email address, and site title. All of these will be given to you when the install is complete. If you want to choose that information before the install, check the Show Advanced Options box and fill in your own information. Don't fret over your site name or your password right now, as you can change them both easily after WordPress is installed. Once again, the final step is to click Install Now. As you watch the installation progress, ignore any links or ads for custom themes, plugins, or services, and close out of any pop-ups that appear you don't need to add anything to your installation. Just wait for the installation to finish. When you get a message in indicating that it's complete, 
Click up at the top to view your credentials. Then click View in the notification area to see your site URL, your site admin URL, and your username and password. You'll want to save all that information. The last step is to click on the WordPress admin URL, log into WordPress, and install Profoto.